Here is something that you might not be familiar with, and that is that the there are building codes that have a maximum nosing. And you're probably thinking, well, this doesn't have a nosing on it. Well, the building code, I believe, is an inch and three eighths, and it's not allowed to project past. So this would be the farthest point, farthest point forward, farthest point backward. Um, on the face of the step. This would be the area that uh, you would measure. And even like like you say, hey, this doesn't have a nosing on it. A nosing is, uh, looks a little different, but it's the same thing. The building code is quite clear the way that they use their language, and I'm not saying it exact. But uh, this right here looks like it's about two inches. Got a little carried away with it here. And this does too. So just something to, to consider. And I would imagine that if you're, the problem here isn't going to be walking down. The problem is going to be walking up. You know, you put your foot here and then uh, you go to drag it up the step and it gets caught here. And this is actually a set of stairs that I walked up and down and was aware of it. And I was just careful walking up and down the stairway, but uh, my foot uh, caught the section right here, and it was actually one of my feet when I didn't have my shoes on. So when I had my shoes on, I seemed to walk up it a little better than when I had them off. So just something to be aware of. Even though this wouldn't be considered a nosing, they do not, or you, most people wouldn't consider it a nosing. This is actually a stairway with a what I would refer to as a undercut of uh, the riser so it actually goes under and then up so uh, this that that's that uh, building code also applies to this if you read the building code thoroughly so don't get carried away with something like this because you're trying to squeeze a set of stairs into an area that uh, you actually can't build the stairs in